Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfon here, and as you know, all year long, we're gonna be supporting Convoy of Hope. And you guys, some of you have written me and asked me why. I've explained it in an earlier video, but I'm just gonna hit it really quick. They take care of people all around the world. If there's a disaster in New York, they're immediately sending trucks there. In the Bahamas, they're sending trucks there. In Europe, they're sending trucks there, and then they're shipping it overseas or flying it. I don't know, but they're doing medicine, food, clothing, and it's worldwide. And that's why I support them because they're worldwide. I don't want to just take up America because a lot of you are from other countries. So if you want to give and you want to support all the countries of the world, then Convoy of Hope is who you want to support. All right. So today we're doing stuffed mushrooms and this super easy recipe. It's a few ingredients mixed up, thrown in the mushroom, baked. It's going to be beautiful. The key of this ingredient, the hardest part, is making sure you hollow out the mushrooms well. So we're gonna show you up close uh, how to carefully remove the stem. Okay, like I said, just a few ingredients. You got parsley, you got salt and pepper, garlic cloves, butter, unsalted, and here are the mushrooms, and what is this? More mushrooms, oh my goodness. We're gonna have a double order of this. This is gonna be delicious. And then we've got your shredded cheese. Okay, here's where you got to remove the stem from the mushroom so that you have an opening. Uh, it should pop out pretty easy. If not, gently wiggle it back and forth. Give it a tender twist. The whole idea is not to break the mushroom. So just remove the stem. They pop usually right open. Now, once you have it looking like this, you have a strainer full of these, you're going to want to clean these. Because depending on how long your mushrooms have been in the refrigerator, there might be a little bit of a sliminess to the outside. Some people go as far as peeling the outside. I was not comfortable doing that. So I'm going to rinse these in cold water so I don't scorch them or partially cook them. I'm going to take them over to the sink right now. And then I'm going to lay them all out like this on a cookie sheet. Okay. Okay. All these have been rinsed. They're a little moist on the outside because they were rinsed. So it's the perfect time to salt and pepper these. That's what it asks for before you stuff them, okay? So we'll give them a little bit of salt. Most of the salt falls to the bottom, rolls right off the mushroom, but just enough flavor sticks to the mushroom. Same with pepper. Okay, let's put in our ingredients. Now we're gonna, this is the stuffing that's gonna go inside the mushrooms. It's going to be butter, it's going to be garlic, parsley, and there you can see kind of like what the mixture is supposed to look like. It's all mashed together. Don't worry because in the oven it's all going to melt and blend together. So let's bring our mushrooms over now. Okay, start with a clean hand. And you're probably going to, this is going to be kind of a, kind of a doughy, sticky substance. So you want to grab a little bit and find one that it probably would fit in. These holes are really small, so make sure you don't overfill them. And then you place it in and just gently press it right in there. There you go. Okay. Then you grab some more and then place it in another one. And give it a good press. If you need more stuffing, go back for more stuffing. You'd be surprised how far this stuffing will go. Okay guys, we got them all stuffed and I saved a little bit of the parsley. You can always cut extra parsley because you're gonna have way more than you need anyway. And I'll just do this as a decoration on top on each one of them. Before I put it in, you're gonna put it in the oven, 375 for 15 minutes. Okay, look at these. Is that restaurant quality? Garlic and cheese and mushrooms. How beautiful is that? Let's give one a try. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, that one. <laughs> I, I don't know how it goes. I just know I need one of these. Mm -hmm. mm. These are amazing. I don't know what event you have coming up, but you got to make these for the next event. Whether it's a baby shower or it's a wedding or a birthday party or just... An XFL game. Who knows? But uh, give it a try. Let me know. Write me. 
I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.